Hi guys! Hey everyone! Welcome to Make 2 and a Sims Free Play house design. As the title says, this is the Vampire Diaries house. It's actually a house from the show. One of the characters, Elena Gilbert, and also her brother, Jeremy Gilbert, and actually a whole bunch of oh, other people. Yeah, over yeah, time. Over time. And this is a perfect time to do a tribute to Vampire Diaries, which you've watched avidly for eight seasons. I don't know avidly, but like off and on. But yeah, <laughs> it has actually, after eight seasons, ended just a couple of days ago at the time of this recording. So I figured why not do a little tribute by trying to build Elena Gilbert's house. The reason that I chose Elena Gilbert's house is because it was probably the easiest one to adapt for Sims Free Play. Anybody who's tried to build a real life house in this game knows that, you know, you can't get every single detail right and a lot of things are not gonna look the same. And as you can see with this balcony that goes all the way around, this is actually meant to be a roof. So I'm gonna show a picture of the actual house from the show and so you can compare it. There was just no way in Sims Free Play to get that same look. So what I did was just use the balcony all the way around. But I did try to get the inside as close as I could based on lots and lots of episodes and also <laughs> looking at lots of pictures from the show. So yeah, here is the front door. And the patio around here is meant to be for the porch, which is the iconic porch where so many things happen. I'm not going to spoil anybody in case you know you, you haven't seen the show. If you want to, it's on Netflix and various yeah, other yeah, places. You know. season. Yes, this is a porch. Mm -hmm. uh, Lots of things. a few steps up. Yes, there are usually life. a few steps up onto the porch, mm -hmm. and usually there's some furniture and things for people to sit on, but there's just not enough room on a standard-sized lot for that to happen. But this is the front door and the front entry hall. Off to one side, you get a little, I would say just a small table for Nixon knickknacks. <laughs> Can't get the words out. Over here is a pair of glass doors. In the show, we never actually got to see this room. Like, really? Yeah, no, I mean... No one ever actually goes to eat. Well, there, vampires, there is a it? different place in the house to eat, but um, okay. through here, I think people speculate that it's a formal dining room, and so maybe that's why you never needed to go yeah. inside. So, yeah, that's what I've set it up as. It or just the have... office of her parents. Mm, could left be. Left in tribute. <laughs> That's not a spoiler. The no. beginning of the show, her parents and Jeremy's parents are dead. Yeah. But anyway, this is... I've just made it into a formal dining room because okay. I figured that's what some Makes fans sense. speculate that it is. Sure. But the place where most of the action occurs in the house is going to be, well, the rest of the house, really. <laughs> so through this pair of doors here, it's, again, very difficult to try and get the Sims Free Play furniture to match what the furniture is on the show and also they did such a gorgeous job of decorating the house on the show that you know there's just even with sims 4 i don't think you could really do it justice but anyway this is one of the two living rooms so this is more of a formal living room i guess right yeah which, with a bookcase at the back now the bookcase is interesting that you mentioned this but when i was looking at photos of the house from the show there are bookcases literally in every room and i think this is but what uh, they do yeah. when decorating for a tv show they in order to make it look like really cozy and lived in and mm -hmm. cluttered they'll just put a bookcase up and, and they'll have books at artful angles probably and some the right way up some mm. on their sides like on that bookcase there yeah. Yes. Yeah. It also just gives you more visual interest yeah, when exactly. you're looking at it. If there's yeah. something going on in the background of yeah. a shot, you know, it makes sense to put a bookcase there to, yeah, as you said, make it look like somebody actually lives there. I put a nice little touch here, uh, candles, because on this show, there's always candles because somebody's always <laughs> doing some sort of magic or they need candles to set a mood or something like that. So that's why I've got yeah. that. Yeah. If any of you actively use candles in your daily life to set a mood, particularly when having a bath, let us know because in these shows you have like a hundred candles and like, yeah. oh yeah, I'm just going to have a bath and light 100 candles in turn. Yeah. Or you just happen to have a hundred candles sitting yeah. around your house and just go around ready lighting to be lit. every single one or ready to be lit by magic all at once. Oh, if you're ma yeah, okay, magic. But still, why magic. would you have a hundred candles sitting around? Anyway, so through here is living room number two, and this is more of an informal living room because this one has a TV. The other one only had a fireplace. Yeah, so it looks like you've got some special Sims here. Indeed, I do. We have Caroline Forbes, who is Elena Gilbert's friend, and this is Elena Gilbert right here. Caroline's my favorite character in the show. <laughs> and they're playing charades with Stefan Salvatore. 
and this is Damon kind of just laughing from at them from the outside. <laughs> he's not participating. He's just laughing. Okay. Yeah. You've done well with the hair. Yeah, the, the hair, hair all was of them particularly turned out really well. The hair was the most fun to do. Uh, <laughs> you know, Elena has this sort of iconic straight hair, and Caroline has always had a sort of wavy blonde hair. Yeah. Stefan has what's called hero hair in the show, so I went for <laughs> this very swept hairdo here. And Damon has anti-hero hair? Anti-hero hair, okay. yes. And look, he's even crossing his arms yeah. and looking away. He's like, I'm not joining you guys. Perfect. Yeah, so again, we've got another set of candles here and books because they're always doing some research about some ancient, like, <laughs> you know, spell really, or whatever. Yeah, There's like books here. Yeah, same, same as in Buffy, yeah. And then through this doorway is the kitchen, which is massive, and lots and lots of stuff and action happens in the kitchen. Mm. And what we've got here is, this is where people eat, generally. So instead of the okay. formal dining room, they would use this massive table. There's a lot of mismatched chairs, because that matches the show as well. Uh -huh. Their kitchen in the show is very, again, like cozy looking and cluttered, and they did a good job of making it very kind of country style with mismatched chairs again another bookcase here and just yeah lots of stuff like that so we've got bonnie bennett here who is elena's other good friend she's cool. doing a spell <laughs> right with the candles yeah i'm gonna say she's looking at her ancestor's grimoire and you know working out her magic mojo cool <laughs> <laughs> So interestingly, the cabinets in the kitchen on the actual show, they are white rather than this gray, but the top of them is wood. So this was kind of the only type of cabinet from the French chateau in the game, which matched that. And the island in the middle of the actual kitchen on the show does not have a sink, but it does have this marble-ish looking countertop. So like I carefully right. inspected these pictures and, you know, rewatched episodes <laughs> just to make sure of what the kitchen looks like. Because it was kind of important to me to get the kitchen right because that is where most of the action seems yeah. to happen in the house. Cool. So it yeah. It's like a really nice kitchen. I don't remember I it that well from the show. I would love to have this kitchen in real life. Mm. Yeah. I stopped watching after season three, I think. You didn't make it into season three. You stopped watching after season two, okay. I think. Yeah. Wow. You've been yeah. going for six years without me. <laughs> All right. So then if we go upstairs, a lot of stuff happens on that staircase too. People running up and down it in danger, <laughs> out of danger, you know. So that comes out onto this upstairs hallway. I've had some artistic license with the upstairs because really upstairs we only ever see Elena's room and Jeremy's room. Off of this side here is Elena's room. So again, I just chose out furniture from the game that seemed to match what I saw on the show. It's not going to be perfect, obviously, but I mean, Elena's bed always has this like lovely duvet quilt kind of thing on top of it. So that's what I went for with this bed. I think it's a prize for completing the quilting hobby for seniors. And then she's got like a sort of desk slash vanity in the corner here. And this sofa is actually meant to be a window seat she has this really cool window seat which i would have loved to have growing up but that's kind of my version of it is this is a limited time sofa in the game so it'd be like a bay window with yes a seat on it. Yeah. yeah exactly and then over here is like a small closet and over here is another dresser again with more clutter another thing that you see on the show is that people just have lamps on like every available service so if they don't have candles or they don't have a bookcase it's a lamp and I guess that's yeah. just to like set a mood, you know, set mood lighting for scenes to happen. So Jeremy and Elena share this bathroom in between their two bedrooms. And actually the bathroom, interestingly, has three doors in the show. So like Elena has her door, Jeremy has his door, and then there's a door off of the hallway. Huh. So That'd be tough in a horror situation because yes. often people retreat to the bathroom. Yes. I don't know why they go to the bathroom. <laughs> Maybe the old like... You know, if there's a nuclear explosion, go to the bathtub. Mm. But with three doors, that's yeah. tough. There's been a few that's scenes, tough. probably. Oh, really? At least one scene that I can recall distinctly where they had to, like, run into the bathroom and close all three doors because, <laughs> you know, somebody was trying to get at Just them. Just go downstairs and go out the door. Go outside. go outside. Although, the rules of vampire um, oh. lore are that, you know, you're probably safest in your house if you haven't invited the vampire yeah. inside your house. They need an invite to get in. Yeah. Anyway, so this is Jeremy's room, and it's decorated 
I think according to the layout of his stuff, I mean, he's got his bed over here and a uh, nightstand here. And I remember that he had a desk at some point. So I right. think it was on this side of the room. It makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. And he's over there working on making some gains. Yeah. Jeremy kind of beefed up over the course of the show. He was like the dorky little brother to begin with. And then at some point in the show, oh, also he's got this tattoo, which I'm not going to spoil for you guys, but that was my little nod to Jeremy Gilbert's journey. Okay. And then let's see over oh, we have another little nook area with a bookcase yeah this is a little nook area that is actually something that i recall seeing from the show there was like a moment next to that bookcase with a few of the characters and then off of here i don't even know if this is a like a thing i've never seen this room in the house before just like we've never seen the formal dining room downstairs but right. this is meant to be like a guest room because i had room for it you know yeah and then over here is the master bedroom for the house, which is where Elena and Jeremy's parents would have been. But for a while on the show, it's their Aunt Jenna. Okay. And then it's, I think, Alaric ends up living in their house with them for a while right. as well. So, yeah, I just decided to splash out a bit and make it a bigger size room than either Elena or Jeremy get. Yeah. And, again, this is sort of a mix of French furniture and the country homestead furniture that you got from like limited time events in the game i think that's my favorite bed yeah it's really nice huh? i like the bedspread mm -hmm. agreed and then there is a master bathroom for the master bedroom uh -huh. just here just room for a shower sink and toilet cool mm -hmm. <laughs> so that is my version of the gilbert house again it's not really gonna look terribly like the one on the show but I feel like just as a family house, it works pretty well. Yeah, it's nice. There's lots of communal space, lots of places for people to hang out, and lots of private space with a whole load of big-sized bedrooms mm -hmm. up on the second floor. Agreed. I also think it's pretty fun. It's been a while since I've done it, actually trying to recreate a real house within the constraints of Sims 4 or Sims. I'm working on right now one in Sims 4, which is taking a very, very long time, but I've done the White House, Falling Water. Mm -hmm. We've done Hogwarts, which we took more artistic license for. I think it's quite cool doing all that research, watching the thing you like, like Vampire Diaries, and trying to actually make Sims free play conform to what you've worked out the house should look like from watching your favourite show or movie. Yep. So I definitely recommend it if you are wondering what to build next in Sims free play. Find something you like, a show or film, and try and recreate something. It's a fun challenge. Yep. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tour. Please let us know in the comments what you think. If you're a Vampire Diaries fan, please let us know what you thought of the finale as well. Be careful about spoilers. <laughs> and in the meantime, if you're new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims free play on the way. Thanks for watching. <laughs>